yung, yung mga dating kasama ni Pangulong Aquino sa politika, di ba? So, we understand the nature of politics here in the Philippines. Political parties are basically non-existent even if they are present on paper, no? So, marami after, even before his term ended, marami na nagtatalunan sa kabila, di ba? How did you feel about this uh, development? Diba? Marami siya mga former allies tumalon uh, because of the transition. How did he take all these things? Um, you know, he was very... And it frustrates me, honestly. He was very kind about it. Kami pa yung nagagalit na parang... Ano ba yan? Anyway, one particular instance na tinuruan na naman niya ako because I sent him a message and I said that X is uh, moving. And this was not part of the first exodus. Kasi diba normally after two days, three days after the the elections, that's the that's when the first exodus happens. Eh. Diba? And then magkaka-second wave and then may mga stragglers talaga yan. Um, this was, I think, two years after na, the 28, 2016. So I told him that X is joining PDP Laban. And then I said um, I understood kasi at the time that it was you know it was basic courtesy that if you're leaving the party not even formal parang magsabi ka lang diba magpasintabi ka. So I said did you know or nagpaalam po ba sa inyo? And then sabi niya no. It's the first time I am hearing about this from you. And, you know, me being the younger and the most, I, I would say, ano, lagi niya akong hinihirita na ikaw violent ka. Huwag kang ganyan. Yung biro niya sa akin. So, of course, I... Went, pinaka mapusok. Oo, pinaka mapusok. Hindi, ako ang tawag niya sa akin, violent. Eh. Ikaw talaga. Violent huwag, talaga. Violent. Oo, violent. Laging ganun ang inaano ko. Laging ganun ang binibiro niya. Violent ka talaga. So, Um, so, you know, of course, me being me, I started being violent. And then he said, ikaw naman. Pag, uh, parang sabi niya, alam mo, sa, sa mundo natin, tatanggapin natin may ganyan talaga. And then he explained to me, sa niya, alam mo yung si X, hindi niya ako kilala nung 2010, pero tumulong yan sa atin. Hindi niya ako kilala, wala siyang hiningi, walang kahit na ano. So, parang tandaan na lang natin na ganun yung ginawa niya. Hayaan mo na huwag ka nang magalit, huwag ka nang maging violent, <laughs> sabi niya sa akin. So, you know, even then, I mean, he was not president already. He was still understanding, I mean, extending understanding to these people because he knew that it was the world that he was living in. 